Hi, amazing hackers. This is Wildy the Cybernet, and today we're going to be covering a very fantastic tool I use for my bug hunting and web um, application security research. And I would want, after the end of this video, to know if you would want to use this tool to do your uh, vulnerability scanning, since it's a tool that covers a lot of other, or that uses the functionality of a lot of other uh, scanning tools like Nikto, um, like um, Dearbuster, um, other uh, what web um a lot of other tools you want to use for information gathering as a uh, vulnerability or um web application security researcher those tools are inbuilt it uses uh, them to get information about different things like um i'm trying to show you from their uh, documentary information on ip subdomain firewalls login page a lot of information about the um, website the server the website is living on if it is expired a lot of information can be gathered with these two now quickly let's show you how to um install the two right now all you need to do is left click here and copy this code so you'll be able to um install it on your Kali. so now i'll give you a quick tips because i tried installing this and it took a lot of hours and um, a lot of errors because i was installing it on my guest user but i decided to do that on my um root user so that i can get a better hang of on it so all you need to do is this is the git the 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 repository i just cloned from github all you need to do is take this and put it on your terminal and then if you successfully download this i want you to switch to your um i want you to move over to your um root user and then on your root user after you've cloned your repository you should have this on your download folder right and then you should um cd to that it will bring you to this everybody here who has been following my videos you've covered some of my videos on how to use the kali uh, terminal effectively if, if not i would want you to go watch some of our videos on how to use uh kali for absolute beginner how we got into this um absolute part right so if you ls you see the different requirements and that you need a bash you need to let the linux setups work and sync properly with your pc so i, I just use a bash and then i put this um linux setup.sh and then all i need to do is send it and wait for the installation to complete this took over uh, 45 minutes depending on the network and um, um how fast your internet is so this took a lot of time but um beautifully i was able to install it so let's quickly go back to the website and see what next we should do with their installation guide okay yeah after i was done installing that after i was done this this is what i was supposed to install after i was done installing this uh python um pip3 requirements i just need to navigate to this um I would have to close my terminal and then navigate i'm trying to really make the explanation for those who are just getting started to also understand the basic knowledge because i could just do this and they won't understand why i navigated into i left the root and now i'm using my second user but i did the work on the root so obviously i'm just trying to explain that when i was done installing this python installation requirements i return back to my other user because now it's it's, it's properly syncing with my terminal i i won't have errors when i'm trying to run it so i'll just copy this command but let's quickly see as a, an example way how it was used on their um documentation right all you need to do is take the um this code we just copied take the code we just copied and then add the name of the website see an example way on how to use it right just add the name of the website and that's all it will start the scanning it takes a lot of time but it's worth it right so all i need to do is when i already run the attack i started my scanning and this is a sample of my scanning i just had to put the name of the website i was um scanning for information and this is the website i was scanning that information from a lot of us know that this is a test website you can use or a lab you can use to um test your skill as a penetration tester web app um security analyst or a web researcher so this scan result is uh showing us in real time it's still scanning because i have it it took over uh, 10 minutes to get to this point so i had to do the video while it's already scanning so you can get 
a real time result uh, and this is awesome if you read closely you should see that um there's nikto nikto scan there's a there's a um you are you are i scan there's a lot of scan going on here and it shows you when it's completed and it shows you what it finds this is really awesome i think i already saw that um the server information is my sql that's a lot of information being given out to me i'm checking for the https i, I think this tool is really really um sufficient for uh, those who are getting started into pen testing bug hunting if you think you're going to use this tool um i want you to drop a comment at, at, at the comment box and help us share the video and if you think there's any other tool you want us to cover and how to use it effectively um, use the comment section to do that i will I've always wanted to use this tool and cover it with you guys on how to use it. I use it for a lot of my pen testing job. I use it for a lot of my uh, bug bounty or research jobs. This tool is really, it's like an all-in-one tool. I don't have to use WordWeb. I don't have to use Nikto. I, I can just do um, my search in one place and it will find me all of these vulnerabilities. It can find me all of these vulnerabilities. It can check for SSS. It can check for my SQL database. It can check for injectable path. I, I think if you think you have to use this tool, drop a comment on the comment section and please